something going on. I'm not playing with fire. I'm not going to go back okay. there and not know where I'm going to get. Hi, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Vlogmas. Hello you guys, how's it going? How you doing? Um, I had my second final today. I am here and I'm excited and we are filming today. I just did my eyebrows, which I probably should have like filmed what I did, but it's totally fine. I don't, I used to get my eyebrows shaped by my esthetician all the time, but then I kind of caught on to her tricks and her patterns and I know how I like my eyebrows to look. So to be honest with you, I do them myself. I don't have anybody else do them. I only tweeze a little bit and then I shape them and I trim them myself. And I learned from watching like a crap ton of like YouTube videos and these um, like my esthetician and these other brow girls who like specifically want to do eyebrows. And after I watched them for like a long enough a, t a long enough time, I was like, oh, I can understand what they're doing. I don't need to go see somebody to do it. And it saves me like a bunch of money. So it's really, really great. Anyway, we are going to edit today's vlog that's going to go up and then um, well, not today's, but like the vlog that I'm working on right now to edit and put up. And then I need to eat lunch and we have three finals tomorrow. So that'll be exciting to study for. I have dental anatomy and then I have health promotion and disease prevention. I have two finals for that. So the lab portion and the classroom portion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and what am I going to do? Oh, and I need to wash my hair today because it's actually disgusting. So I figured I would show you guys like what I use to take care of my hair because it's going to be washed and you know, it's nasty. Also, you saw the huge difference granted that there's natural light in my bedroom, but the difference of lighting in my bathroom and in my bedroom, like it's way more yellow in here. And I don't love it. But um, I'm trying to find good light bulbs that I really, really enjoy. And you girls still got Christmas shopping to do. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, let's just go on and get um, going with our day. Okay. Bye. So I told you guys I would show you what I do to my hair before I wash it. Also, I bought the Whey shampoo and conditioner again, but this time I bought the one for medium hair because the girl at the at Sephora was like, you do have thick hair, but I think that the thick hair formulation is meant for people who have like really dry, coarse hair. My hair is actually pretty oily. Well, it accumulates oil. So I'm going to try the medium and see if there's any difference there because sometimes I would feel like the thick one, um, I loved it so much, but I almost felt like sometimes I could feel like deposit of product in my hair even after I'd wash it and dry it. I don't know if anyone knows what I mean by that, but it wasn't like flowy and like fluffy. Do you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. So what I use before I wash my hair is this mask. And if you use the Olaplex number three, I've talked about this before. Um, that hair mask I absolutely love, but I was trying to find a dupe, not only for myself, but also for you guys, because I know that that's not necessarily something that everyone can fit into their budget. So I have been searching and I've had a couple flops, so I didn't want to share those because they were honestly awful. But I finally found a hair mask that I think is a really good dupe for the number three hair mask by Olaplex, and it's this one. It smells identical to the number three. It's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with sea kelp and argon oil. This is what it looks like, okay? The tub is huge. Can you see that it's like the size of almost like my, the palm of my hand? It is ginormous, okay? I've used this thing multiple times. I still haven't run out and I believe this one was like $11. So it's half the price and maybe a little bit less than the number three and you get way more. So this one I absolutely love and I just put it on my hair like about an hour before I'm gonna wash it so that it can like sit and set in properly and do what it needs to do. Um, my mom has a friend who used to put avocado in my hair. Maybe if you're me Mexican or Hispanic, maybe you've done this too or like your mom or your aunts or someone has done this to your hair but she used to put an avocado mask in my hair before I would wash it and I swear that literally helped my hair so much but it would clog the drain so bad that I had to stop doing it because it was just like there was there was no reason that I needed to be doing that um she would literally take an avocado and she would mash it up and then she would put olive oil in the avocado I, this sounds so gross she would mash up the avocado put um olive oil in it and then she would take the white part of the egg like the egg white i don't know why i said it like that the egg white she would also put in there and she would mix it all up and then she would put it in my hair like two to three hours before i would wash my hair and she used to say you could leave it in all day um but or even sleep in it too, but I wasn't a kid who could sleep in a hair mask. I still can't do that. So she would put it in my hair, like literally all over my hair, like brush through my hair with it. 
and then I'd wash it out like two or three hours later and I'm telling you like nothing has ever been, my hair has never been softer than, than then when I did, when I used to do that hair mask and I only did it whenever she would come over to the house. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I don't know why I just told you that entire story. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my hair and then let it sit for a couple hours. I just put it in and then I put my hair in space buns. I'm watching True Confessions with Miley and Pete. Um, but I just leave my hair like this for literally like an hour and a half or two hours and then I wash it all out. That's what I do. So that's the little treatment mask. Oh, I got some on my sleeve. And then, so I put it all on my ends as you guys saw and then up here because these are usually the pieces of hair that are falling like closest to my face. So I want them to be as hydrated as possible and make sure that they're soft. I was thinking about doing like a face mask and just letting it sit for a little bit. I think I might do that. And then edit, take a shower and then study for the rest of the day. That sounds like a great plan to me. These little, these little bun guys are fun. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Hello you guys. So I am currently studying for one of my finals and one of my finals is to, it's like a lab final where we basically have to prove that we know how to use all the like aids that they taught us about during the semester. So I figured I could show you guys. Um, this little flosser, it's a flosser. Can you see that? Um, and it's for people who have like limited dexterity. There's a bunch of different instruments over here I'll show you guys. And you basically just put it on this little button so that people who like, you know, may have arthritis or something, it's bigger to hold than a flosser and it's not as hard. So you wrap it around um, one end of the flosser and then you squeeze and then you put it through these little lines right here, put it on the other side, then you wrap it around twice. And there you go, you've made a little flosser. Isn't that so cute? And then it like goes in between your teeth and I can't do it because this specific floss is like a very um, like tufted floss, like a braided floss. So it's for people who have larger contact areas, mine are a little closer, which means that it would make it shred. But that's like one thing that we have to know how to use. Another thing is this um, little thing where you put a toothpick in. I always forget the name of them. I think it's called a Perio aid, yeah. So you put the toothpick in and then you clasp it and you like kind of break it off and you use it. It's for people who don't like to floss and use toothpicks and, and people who have gingivitis. It kind of helps clean out the little margins of your teeth. And yeah, that's basically what that one's for. And then there's this gum stimulator. I don't want to take it out because I think I know someone who might want it, but getting someone to use adjunctive aids is kind of hard I feel like because it's extra thing, things that you have to do in conjunction to already brushing and flossing. So also I have my fun little type it on here. Um, I learned different methods for toothbrushing. So I'm gonna show you. First is the bass method. Yes, like Chuck Bass. And um, it is for people who have gingivitis. And there's another reason and I can't remember what the other indication to use it is. I'm trying to see if it's in here. It is. Okay, so you literally just vibrate the toothbrush in the sulcus at a 45 degree angle so you're not going in at 90 and you literally just vibrate and then you move to the next three teeth and you do it 10 times and you move again and then you do it on the linguals. Oh my goodness, who am I? And then you do it on the linguals and then the anteriors, you literally just do the same thing and then you push out. You put the heel of the toothbrush and right there and then you push out. Isn't that so fun? Um, and then this thing we got from Colgate, it's actually like a, um, something we got at the beginning of the year, this type of on the bottom come out, but the top don't. So the bottom teeth do come out actually. It's really all I've been doing. I've just been studying like how to use these things and then, um, all about like mouth guards and stuff like that. So 
you know, the girls here are just studying. That's all there really is to it. I've just been studying all day and then I need to make dinner in my lunch room tomorrow because I'm gonna stay at school in between my two finals. And that's it. I'm gonna study for dental anatomy later. Oh, look at this brush that you use for like, if you have dentures. I mean, I don't think anybody watching my videos has dentures, but you never know. Uh, you use this brush to like clean your den dentures. I think you can use this to also wash like mouth guards or like night guards um, because you're not supposed to use like regular toothbrush because that usually has toothpaste on it, which is too abrasive to brush uh, any of that kind of stuff with. So I'm just gonna keep studying over here. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hello everybody. Welcome you, to my home. <laughs> welcome to your home by the Christmas tree. Um, you guys, hold on. It's that time of night. What's up? Allie is about to give us her Christmas question of the night. We just finished watching um, The Sex Life of College Girls. What would you give it out of 10? Mm, of like every show I've ever watched, mm. maybe like. No, just like individually. I don't know, like maybe like an eight, like a seven. I don't know. Oh no, I would give it like an eight or a nine. I give it too high though, because then I'm like, but it's, it's not so like my good. favorite show ever, but it was really good. Christmas tree in the back. We love to see it. Um, We recommend, you should watch I it. Would 100 it's on HBO, it. go watch it right now. I mean like in terms of shows I've watched recently, it's like 10 out of 10. That's right. Well, we're here for one purpose and one purpose only, and that I, is to get the Christmas question of the day, I Allie. Prepare one, but um, the fans are gonna be so sad. It's been a while. Like, are we missing me in these vlogs? Because I haven't been in. You one. have only missed one so far because Ugh. the weekend videos you're not in. You're just in the vlogging I'm vlogs. Excluded. You're excluded. <laughs> the workers' union really took over, and you couldn't. Oh yeah, I can only work five days a week. That's actually. right. The rules have been altered for you. My for your question comfort. is, what is your job, and does it pay well? Because maybe I need to get it. She's she's looking, looking for, for a new career, career path. path. We love to you see it. You messaged me on LinkedIn recent recent recently. That was hard. Message me again. Um, my question is. Yes. Well, mm? oh, we were talking about this today. What, what, what is your favorite Christmas? Have I asked this already? What? Your favorite Christmas treat? Like, um, oh, no, we haven't talked about this at all. Well, you and I have. Your um, favorite, well, sort of. Your favorite Christmas treat, like, uh, that you only have around Christmas time. Oh, Christmas treat. I heard tree. Like, like which type like of tree? Like a Fraser fir. Like a Douglas fir. But that's like the only kind of Christmas tree there oh, okay. is. Okay. Your favorite type of Christmas treat. Treat. Like if you will. dessert. Or I mean, I don't want to limit you to dessert. If it's something that's like specific to you, having around Christmas time, <laughs> that could be your answer. It could be anything like that you make, or maybe Trader Joe's like just sells it around Christmas. That's time. right. Did I tell you what mine was? No, but I already told you what mine was. Well, I didn't say it was my favorite, but it is. What um, is it? Toffee. Oh, the toffee, that's right. Yeah, that's right. my okay. grandma used to make it, and then my mom makes it now. We love to see it. And my mom put it on my calendar yesterday, remember? Did she really? Yeah, she said, oh, yes, Google toffee, toffee making. Toffee that's right, the event. Yes, I remember now. Yeah. Sorry, my brain's fried. No, it's okay. It was a small moment. But yes, um, Toffee is my favorite Christmas treat, and it's not really necessarily Christmassy, but we just make it at Christmas time, so to me it is. Well, I love that so much. What's your favorite? Um, oh, these things that we make, that we used to make with my grandma, they're called buñuelos. They're like fried tortillas with like sugar and salt. I mean, not salt, sugar <laughs> and cinnamon. They're oh, really good. Kind of like uh, sopapilla. Kind of, but different. The same but different. Same similar neighborhood. If you oh, will. another thing that reminds me of Christmas time. Yes. This is on my Italian side of the family. Oh. Is making pizzelles. If you've ever had a pizzel, they're really good. What's a pizzel? It's like a cookie. It's like a almost like you make it in a waffle maker, but uh -huh. it's not a waffle, it's a pizzel. Oh, oh it's a pizzel. <laughs> She's it's a pizzel, you guys. They taste like waffle cones, sort of, okay. but like uh 
they're not so like hard and crunchy. I see. Interesting. Okay, well. If you look it up, you'd probably know what it is. I'm sure that you would. Well, that's what we're gonna close out this vlog with. Let us know what your favorite Christmas treat is not tree, okay? Not, well, I mean, this is my favorite. No, is, my favorite Christmas tree is when I went at home. Oh, this is we my favorite We should insert a right picture, now. it is so beautiful. Yeah, send me a photo, please. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You have anything you wanna add? Uh, not today, unfortunately. Try a pit cell. That's where I'm gonna leave you today. But they're not that good store bought, so. Okay, well. Yeah, I vouch, well, I vouch for my job too, so. Okay, well. It's an auditing jet. We love you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Actually, tomorrow we'll talk to you. Oh. Bye, everybody. Bye.